Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Math with Dr. War. I am continuing the foundational videos where we're going to be finding volume. Today I'm going to focus on a rectangular prism and pyramids. So let's begin. Now, in this foundational video, we're going to start with the rectangular prism, or sometimes in my class, I call it a rectangular container. And we have to find the volume of each rectangular prism, and depending on the dimensions they give us, we have to round to the nearest tenth if necessary. Whenever they say to round, it's because they gave us a decimal. Now, this particular formula is not given to you on the task test. So whenever you have to find the volume of a rectangular prism, it is going to be the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. One of the things I try to tell my students is that when you're finding volume, you're basically finding the area of the shape and you're going to times it by the height. Because volume is how much space is being taken up into the container. So notice here, this is what a rectangular prism looks like. I always tell my students, a rectangular prism is a box, it's a shoe box, it's a cube, anything that looks like a box. And if we have to find a volume, always remember, volume would be the length times the width. Now remember, length times the width is the area of a rectangle. And when you multiply by the height, then it gives you volume. If you look at any formula for volume, it always has the height in it. So it's just the area times the height. So here's my formula. I'm looking at number one. This is my rectangular prism. Now our length will be seven. Always remember, well, the way I think of it, and you're not trying to do advanced math here, always think of the longest side as your length. The width would be this four here, and this three right here, that is your height, okay? So this is your length, this is your width here, and this is your height. And notice they put the width up here. They could have put it here, but again, you can't tell the people what to do. So it's going to be seven times your four times your three. So I'm going to multiply this because suppose you're on the non-calculator section. You want to have to multiply it anyway. And how you multiply, I'm going to go... So how I multiply, I'm going to multiply the first two. 7 times 4 is 28. And then I'm going to multiply 28 times 3. So if you need to, go on the side and multiply. Remember the task test is two parts. Part 1, calculator. Part 2, no calculator. 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So your answer is 84, and remember we're finding volume. Volume is measured in cubic dimensions. Our dimensions is meters, so this is meters to the third power. Okay, we have another rectangular prism here. We need to find a volume. Volume will equal length times width times height. Here's my length, which is 10. Here's my width, which is 7. And here is my height, which is 9. 10 times 7 is 70. And then I'm going to times that by 9. 9 times 0 is 0. And 9 times 7 is 63. Our dimensions, centimeters, and it will be cubic centimeters. So just put the little 3 there. Again, I have another cubic prism, and I'm finding the volume. Volume equals to length times width times height. Here's my length, which is 3. Here's my width, which is 2.7. And here's my height, which is 2. And again, with this one, I'm not going to use the calculator. If I'm on the non-calculator and I have to multiply this, I would multiply the 2 with the 3 to make it easier on myself. 2 times 3 is 6. And then finally multiply by the 2.7. So if you need to, go on the side. 6 times 7 is 42. Carry the 4. 6 times 2 is 12. 
plus 4 is 16. How many decimal places we have? 1. So my answer is 16.2. My dimensions, they are in feet and to the third power. You must remember how to multiply decimals. If you're unsure, I have a decimal video. Please check it out. You must be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide your decimals. So you cannot forget those foundational areas of mathematics. Okay, here we have pyramids. Now you always know a pyramid because it looks like the pyramids of Egypt. And we have to find the volume of each figure and round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So they want us to round to the nearest hundredth and they said if necessary. Now because it's a pyramid, there will be a formula for you on the formula page. Here's our pyramid formula. So if we're going to find the volume of a pyramid, it's a third times capital B times H. And when you look at your key, notice they say that this gigantic B is the area of the base. Now your pyramid is either going to have a rectangular base or a square base. And if you have to find the area of either a rectangle or a squared, it's length times width, such as what we were looking at in the rectangular prism. Here I have volume. Now when I look at my pyramid, I notice that the length is 14 and the width is eight. So this is a rectangular base. So it's going to be a third times, and I'm just going to take 14, multiplied by eight, and then multiply by 12. That's basically what you're doing. I'm gonna take my calculator for this one because I noticed some folks were having issues with entering this into their calculator. So I have a fraction, which is a third. So I enter one, n over d, then three. Notice my cursor is still in the denominator. I press the right, I multiply 14 times eight, and then times 12. Enter my answer. 448, my dimensions, millimeters, and to the third power. Now, if you don't like using the third function, here's another thing you can do. You can take 14, times it by eight, times it by 12, and then divide by three. We're divided by three because your denominator is three. See, I still get 448. So if you don't like to put in the, the fraction function, one over three, just take 14, multiply it by eight, multiply it by 12 and divide by three. Your calculator will do order of operations. And remember with order of operations, when you're multiplying or dividing, it works from left to right. So the calculator, will give you your correct answer. Let's look at the last one. I have another pyramid. Volume equals a third multiplied by the base of the area times the height. Now when I look at my base over here, I notice this is three and this is three. So this base is a square. But who cares if it's a square? I know it's going to be a third times three, which is the length, times three, which is the width, and then times 11. So if you like to use the fraction function, one, n over d, three, to the right, times three, times three, times 11, and my answer is 33. My dimensions are inches, and that will be to the third power. Let's go back to the calculator again. If you don't like to enter the fraction, you could have simply gone three times three times 11 and then divide by three and hit enter, you still get the 33. If you were on the non-calculator and you had to solve this, again, what I would do is I would take the numerator section 
So this is what you have to multiply. So I would multiply everything at the top. 3 times, well, let's start with the 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 11 is 99 divided by 3, and you get 33. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck on your task examinations.